Hi there, today we will be solving problem 1.5 from the chapter of vector algebra. So the problem statement is as below. Prove the BAC minus CAB rule by writing out both sides in the component form. What it essentially means is that we have to prove A cross B cross C is equals to B multiplied with the dot product of A and C minus C multiplied with the dot product of A, dot, A and B. Now, how do we do this? This is a very tedious and lengthy problem. So we will work out a smaller version of the entire problem. We know that both the LHS and the RHS are vectors. So when we say they are vectors, they if we write it in the Cartesian coordinate system, they will have what we call as the x component, y component and z component. Similarly, the vector on the right hand side also has x component, y component and z component. Now our job would be to see that the x component on the left hand side is equal to the x component on the right hand side y component on the left hand side is equal to the y component on the right hand side and z component on the left hand side is equal to the z component on the right hand side. So doing the entire problem would be very tedious. What we can do is just see that the x component on the left hand side is equal to the x component on the right hand side and then by arguments of symmetry we can prove that both y component on either side is equal and z component on either side is equal. So once we understand the approach, we can start solving it right away. So let's first find a cross b cross c, b and c in the brackets. So we will start with the LHS. So let's write down what b cross c is. From the vector cross product definition we know that b cross c is x comma y comma z and these are the unit vectors then b x b y b z c x c y c z so we go ahead and find the vector cross product of b and c how do we start doing that we can start by finding out the individual components. To find the x component, we black out the rows and columns including the x unit vector. So x cap would then be by into cz minus cy into bz. Then the y component would be found by crossing out the components, the rows and columns which include the y unit vector and then finding the bx cz minus cx bz. Similarly, we can go ahead and find the z component by writing down z equal z component equals bx cy minus cx by. So we know that this is equals to b cross c. Now let's go ahead and find a cross b cross c. So to find that out, we will have to use a very similar matrix with AX as the components here. The reason I've written it out this far is basically to accommodate all these huge vectors. So this would be the X component of B cross C. Similarly, we can write down the y component of b cross c. 
the only difference would be that we will have to use a minus sign here because there is a minus sign here and finally we will go ahead and use the z component of b cross c there it is so as you see this is already getting pretty complicated so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and find the x component of this vector so we will use the matrix here so we'll go ahead and find the x component how do we find the x component we black out the x row and x column and then use the uh, cross product here so we go ahead and write x cap the x component would be then a y multiplied with b x c y minus c x b y once that is done minus we have this component here so the minus of minus becomes plus and we write down bx c z minus cx b z into a z now this is the x component of x component of the a cross b cross c with b cross c in the bracket this is the x component of this particular vector now we will further simplify this and write it down as a y b x c y minus a y c x b y so that gives us the second component the third component would be b x c z and a z And minus the fourth component would be cx bv and az okay. let us store these answer as the first answer now it would be our job to go back and find the right hand side the x component on the right hand side what does the right hand side entail right hand side is actually given by vector b multiplied with dot product of a and c minus vector c multiplied with dot product of a and b okay so we know that a dot c is equals to a x c x plus a y c y plus a z c z this is the standard formula for scalar dot product so then similarly a dot b would be a x b x a y b y plus a z b z in that sense so this is that's similar both of these are scalars now once we know this we have all that we have to do is find b a c and c a b so b b a dot c is equals to then b x plus b y plus b z multiplied with the scalar here a x c x plus a y c y plus a z c z then c a v would then be c x plus c y c z multiplied with a x b x a y b y plus a z b z so let's go ahead and find these components now so that would be 
बी एक्स इंटू एक्स सी एक्स बी एक्स इंटू एक्स सी एक्स प्लस बी एक्स इंटू ए वाई सी वाई प्लस बी एक्स इंटू ए जी सी जी ऑन मल्टीपेड विथ एक्स कैप सिमिलरली वी विल हैव कॉम्पोनेंट्स फॉर वाई एंड कॉम्पोनेंट्स फॉर जी वी विल नॉट गो अबाउट फाइंडिंग आउट दोज वंस बिकॉज वी कैन अज्यूम सिमेट्रिक आर्ग्यूमेंट्स लेटर ऑन इफ वी फाइंड दैट दी एल एच एस एंड आर एच एस हैव सिमिलर एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट्स सो वी फाउंड द एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ बी ए डॉट सी सिमिलरली वील गो एड एंड फाइंड दी एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ सी ए बी सो दैट वुड बी सी एक्स ए एक्स बी एक्स प्लस सी एक्स ए वाई बी वाई प्लस सी एक्स ए जी बी जी ऑल ऑफ दिस इज द एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ सी ए बी नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड बी ए सी माइनस सी ए बी विच इज बेसिकली द एक्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ ईच ऑफ दैम शुड बी सब्ट्रैक्टेड एंड वी शुड बी एबल टू सी दैट द रिजल्ट दैट वी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम हेयर मैच विद द वैल्यू दैट वी ऑप्टेन हेयर सो लेट्स गो हेड एंड फाइंड दैट बी एक्स ए एक्स सी एक्स प्लस बी एक्स ए वाई सी वाई प्लस बी एक्स ए जी सी जी माइनस सी एक्स ए एक्स बी एक्स माइनस प्लस सी एक्स ए वाई बी वाई प्लस सी एक्स ए जी बी जी is equal is what the x component should be b x a x c x cancels out with this portion and then b x a y c y and b x a z c z and these other two components remain as it is so what we can do is we can go ahead and actually uh, find the remaining four components so this would make it b x a y c y plus b x a z c z minus c x a y b y minus c x a z b z so this happens to be equal to the x component of the right hand side which is let us say it is 2 now let us see if 1 and 2 are equal so 1 is given by this and now 2 is given by this let's see if these two match with each other now 2 happens to be the lhs x component so these agree with each other b x c z a z these agree with each other and then we have cx by ay cx by ay they both agree with each other and finally we have cx az bz which is matching with the above so we have lhs x component matches with the rhs y component x component so by arguments of symmetry because Uh, almost every other component is going to follow the same rule and it is found from the same formula it should follow that the lhs y component is equals to rhs y component and similarly lhs z component is equals to rhs z component as a consequence therefore a cross b 
across C, which is the LHS, is equals to B multiplied with A dot C minus C multiplied with A dot B, which happens to be the RHS is proven. Thank you. Please subscribe to this channel for more such videos.